we're going to be looking for the values of c given that c all over the square root of c is equal to 5. So our first step will be for us to get rid of the denominator, that means to clear the fraction. And in order to do that, we multiply both sides by the square root of c. So on the left, I have c all over the square root of c. Now I'll multiply the left by the square root of c equal to, on the right, I have 5. I'll also multiply the right by the square root of c. Now notice that the square root of c cancels out the square root of c, leaving behind c on the right hand side to be equal to 5 root c on the right. Now to get rid of this square root, I have to take the square of both sides. So I'll take the square of the left, I'll also take the square of the right hand side. So this becomes c squared equal to, this expression is same as 5 raised to power 2 times the square root of c raised to power 2. Now simplifying further, we have c squared to be equal to 5 squared is 25 and then this square cancels out the square root, leaving behind c. Now let's move 25c to the left hand side. When we do that, we have c squared. And as 25c crosses to the left, it becomes minus 25c. And this is equal to 0. Now notice that the left hand side, we have c common. So we have to factor out c. So factor out c open brackets, c squared divided by c is c minus 25c divided by c is 25. Now close your brackets, equal to 0. Now we have two cases. We have c to be equal to 0 or we have c minus 25 to be equal to 0. Now here we have a value for c, but we don't know if it is correct yet, unless after checking. Now to get the second value of c, we just have to move negative 25 to the right. And when we do that, c becomes, as negative 25 crosses to the right, it becomes positive 25. Now let's check which of these two values is actually correct. So let's check. Now we check when c is equal to 0, which is our first value. So we have 0 all over the square root of 0. Would this be equal to 5? So this becomes 0 all over. The square root of 0 is actually 0. And notice that we have 0 on the denominator, which shows that this expression is undefined. So this value for c equal to 0 is not actually correct. Now let's go to the other value we've got which is when c is equal to 25. So we have 25 all over the square root of 25. Would this be equal to 5? Let's simplify we have 25 all over, the square root of 25 is actually 5. Are we going to be having 5 as a result? Now watch, 25 divided by 5 is 5, which is actually equal to the right hand side that is 5. So we can clearly say that c equal to 25 is actually correct. Well. Feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like I always say, until next time, take care.